Hello, hello. I want to show you a topic I haven't talked about yet, and that is essential oils, which is probably not new to any of you guys. Um, but what I'm going to say is probably going to shock you a little bit. So generally, I usually see most um, practitioners, most people into oils and natural health using which brand? Young Living. So most people use Young Living or doTERRA, which is like an offspring of Young Living. And this is not to say that they're not a good company because they are. Um, they have phenomenal oils and whatnot. However, this is my problem with them. The multi-level marketing, which yes, it does give you a good support system, but nobody wants to feel like they're getting like pushed into sales or pushed into buying something because of this quota or whatever. So anyway, um, as you can see, I haven't like been promoting my oils regularly. If you want them, you can get them. Um, but I, I don't have this like huge quota to meet or this push to be like trying to get people to buy my oils all the time, which I would love you to buy them. I do make money off that. But um, I love not having to be part of the multi-level marketing and the pressure that's behind that. I absolutely hate it. So that's the first thing. The second thing, which is my favorite, is it is a fraction of the cost. And I know that the saying is you get what you pay for, which is true in so many um, situations. However, this company is not having to pay different tiers of people so the prices are more realistic and true to what they are versus Young Living, they're inflated prices for several reasons. So um, this brand, the um, essential oils are called Nature's Fusion and it's under a different umbrella for um, the actual company's name that sells these oils but this is the essential oils name and they are so good like they're just as good a quality if not better um but i mean they're just as good so i actually talked to the company to ask about this especially because i'm really particular on i like don't want to ingest any oils that could be like absolutely unpure in whatever form or shape so um I talked to the company about this and they said yes absolutely the they couldn't like tell me exactly which ones are ingestible for um you know legal reasons and whatnot liability but they said that a lot of people who discovered their line who um previously were using young living actually switched to this line and like it better or they just like too that the prices are way better so um, I'm not going to charge you guys like a premium if you get these oils for me. So anyway, if the whole point of this is that if you want oils just as good as Young Living for a quarter of the price, then hit me up and I will get you those oils. So I just want to show you what I have. I have quite a bit. Um, and I'll kind of talk about them a little bit. Hopefully this one doesn't fall. Okay, so first of all, they do have like the blends and rollers like this that you can get. I only have this one, but it's for energy and I used to use it um, with my clients like before we started our hair service or whatever. If they needed a little energy, you just roll it on the wrist. You can smell it. It's got a nice citrusy orange scent. It's super yummy. Um, the other ones that are different are these other mixes and they're like more of... Uh, therapeutic kind of like ingestible uh, this is lavender oil blend so you can apply this or um, topically or orally and it's mixed with olive oil so lavender with olive oil I believe let me just make sure yep oils of olive got kahuput lavender lemon star and white thyme so they're blends that they make so I got that one and um, okay, so let's kind of go down the line here. So I got y Yiling Ling, which is really great for like making different kinds of perfumes and other stuff, but I think it kind of has like an earthy scent. It's like musky. Pink Flowers is one of my favorites. So Pink Flowers I got because you can rub this right here on your abdomen when you have period cramps and it seriously does help. It's a blend that is for, um, 
women and for menstruation and things like that and balancing pain all that kind of stuff so you can rub some here you can mix it with like your carrier oil put a hot pad there and it seriously helps amazing with cramps so a little other tip so citrus oils do go rancid so you have to keep them in your fridge so i always keep my citrus oils in my fridge and i have lemon and lime and orange i don't have orange right now but i have lemon and lime I keep these two in my fridge and I'll just add like a drop to my drinks. Um, the lemon is very strong. So like literally just one drop. This one, the lime is not as strong. So one to two drops is fine. And a little tip trick. If you're trying not to drink and you still want to enjoy yourself and feel like you're having a margarita or spritzer or whatever, take seltzer water and put a drop of the um, lime in it and it tastes like like you're having an alcoholic beverage like a margarita and you can even like salt your room if you want super good um and it also masks the flavor a lot of other like liquid tinctures and stuff that I really don't prefer to take and then I'll mix it in there with a little bit of the lime and it's much better this is holiday cheer and I like to blend this one in my studio salon during the holidays it smells so good and then lavender of course, lavender is good for literally everything. Cypress, I this probably has like many other benefits, but the reason why I got cypress is because it's um, an astringent, so I kind of use it to like tone my face sometimes, balance the pH and stuff. I'll mix it in with my facial toner um, or like my facial uh, lotion. Grapefruit. Grapefruit is really good for a lot of things. You can also put this in your drinks. It probably could help you lose weight, maybe. Because remember, eating grapefruit 15 minutes before you eat a meal can help you lose weight, apparently. But I actually will mix this in with my lotions and my coconut oil and apply it on like my thighs and stuff because it um, grapefruit essential oil can actually help banish cellulite. Nature's Sword is one I just got, and it is actually a mix of all of the most strongest, like, antibiotic-level essential oils all blended into this one. It is the only essential oil blend that has all of the strongest essential oils as antibiotic-type um, mixes all in this. It is very strong, kind of garlicky smelling, so... Um, what you want to do is you can apply it with gloves if you want, but you don't have to. Um, so you can just put a little bit on your hand, rub it onto the bottom of your foot, and then cover it with a big band-aid and go to bed and seriously will banish like sickness. It's awesome. So um, also like viruses and anything else that's going on in your body, like uh, parasites and things like that. I'm going to tell you what's in here. It has lemongrass, clove, lemon, eucalyptus, radiata... Let's see, Cubeba, I don't know how to pronounce these, rosemary, tea tree, oregano, cinnamon, thyme, melissa leaf, and garlic. Then we have wintergreen, and you can make toothpaste with this if you want, or homemade gum, I don't know how that works, but um, yeah, it's very strong. Um, we have oregano. Oregano can be used to kill parasites viruses, bacteria, all kinds of stuff. It's very, very strong. So if you do ingest this, make sure it's super diluted with like olive oil or carrier, some kind of carrier oil. I also have clove and I use this one a lot for um, some of my like hair products I used to make and things like that. But clove is also like an antibiotic type. Um, it's in the thieves blend for some, um, for young living. So clove can be used for that. It can be used for like different skin um, things like if you put a little bit in a bath, if you had like scabies or something like that. Um, I think I'm pretty sure clove can be used for stuff like that. I have calming core and this one you would think it's just like to calm and balance you but it's actually a digestive aid. So you put a little bit in your belly button and it takes away like bloating, stomach aches, things like that. And then ginger as well, you can put a little bit of that in your belly button and it can help with motion sickness, bloating, digestion, 
Um, you can put a little drop in your drink to also help aid digestion before or after a meal, things like that. So that is what I currently have on stock, but there's lots more. So if you guys want something, just let me know. I'd be happy to get some for you. Thanks. Bye.